Hi, I'd like to give you an overview of what a buffer is. Uh, buffers are powerful and we use them all throughout industry, within our food and inside of our bodies. Um, so here's what a buffer is. A buffer is going to be in a solution and it causes the solution to resist change to pH, which means you can have a solution, you can add an acid to it and it maintains its pH. You could add a base to it and it maintains its pH. That's something that's vital in our blood that we have to maintain a pH really close to about three point, or excuse me, 7.35. Um, so if we have, um, maybe we don't breathe for a while, it's going to change the pH of our, our, our blood. But then wait, there's a buffer that will interact and maintain the pH of our blood to um, keep that 7.35. Um, really, really cool. So it resists change to pH, even if you add an acid or a base to it, that solution will maintain the pH. Now, how do we do this? There are two requirements to make a buffer. Um, number one, you have to have both an acid and a base inside that solution. Um, why? Okay, so here's my solution. I have a buffer inside of it, which means there's an acid and a base inside of it. So if I add a base, the acid will consume it, so it maintains the pH. If I add an acid to the solution, the base will consume it so it can maintain that pH. But here's the trick. You have this buffer, this solution, and the buffer is an acid and a base, but the acid and base in the solution can't react with each other. They have to be ready to react with anything that comes from the outside world. So how do we do that? How can you have an acid and a base together that don't react? It's right here. We usually use an acid and conjugate base pair. It's like cousins, they're not going to react with each other. So for example, really common one is going to be acetic acid with the acetate ion. Check it out. That's the acid, this is the base, and they won't react with each other. Uh, here's another example, formic acid with a formate ion, the acid with its conjugate base. Here I have the acid ammonium, and the conjugate base is ammonia. Um, so you have that acid conjugate base pair, they won't react with each other. Um, and then just a little reminder, to do our calculations to, to determine pH, um, I strongly recommend use the Henderson-Hasselbalch equation. And you can watch this video um, on the acid-base equilibrium playlist. So there you have it, an overview of what a buffer is. Just for fun, look on the back of the next soda that you drink or the next orange juice that you buy and you will discover there's a buffer. You're going to see something like um, citric acid and citrate. Why are those both in there? It's a buffer. It's a buffer that we put in there to maintain the pH of that drink. So even if a little something different gets in there, it still tastes the same, has the same pH. Pretty cool. Have a wonderful day. So proud of you. Thank you.